Hi, my name is Jim Stark, and I'm going to take a couple of minutes today to go over with you the BUS mobile DVR unit and all of its accessories, of which there are many. What you see before you are the contents of the four channel embedded rugged mobile DVR unit from Adirondack Technology. This component here is the recorder itself. Across the back panel are where we plug in the 3G service, the GPS unit, the four cameras, power supply, pigtail, and the RJ45 for network. The 3G service and the network are somewhat different. The network connection would be if you decided to build your own wireless local area network. An example of that would be uploading the video when the bus returns to the bus station. The 3G service is more for live interface of the unit while it's being used. An example of that would be uploading the video to a central monitoring facility while the bus is in transportation. Now I'm saying bus, but this could easily be a taxi, a towing vehicle, a police cruiser, school bus, a Greyhound bus, or any type of mobile vehicle that you want to keep track of. On the front of the unit is a lockable door and several LEDs to inform you of the functionality of the unit. Once we unlock the front door, we have access to the hard drive that we will record the video to, as well as the SIM card, which will provide you with the cell phone connection that is required to pull live, via, uh, live video feed from the vehicle while it is moving. The lights over here will give you information about whether or not the unit is recording, if you have an alarm event, if your cameras are functioning properly, along with power and hard drive functionality, the SD card 1 and 2, the GPS, and we have the infrared illuminator receiving node. You will also notice that there are cooling fins on the chassis and this is a metal chassis. It's very rugged. One of the reasons why we cannot use a regular DVR in a vehicle is a regular DVR will pull power from a 120 volt outlet at your house. Power from your house runs on a certain frequency. The power from a vehicle runs on a completely different frequency and will damage a regular DVR that does not have the proper filters to deal with this change in power frequency. We also have issues with the product being constantly jolted, moved as the vehicle travels down the road and hits bumps. So for those purposes, a regular DVR will not live for very long in a mobile application. The other items that come with the mobile DVR, the 3G cell phone antenna, the GPS antenna, two keys which will open the door and allow you to have access to the hard drive as well as a SIM card. The four pigtails for the cameras. A sensor input pigtail. On this sensor input pigtail we can interface with many components that are found on typical public transportation. Everything from a door opening to the speed of the vehicle, 
which coincidentally can also be determined by the GPS unit. We can also interface with the brakes, we can interface with the ignition, we can interface with practically anything on the vehicle that has a trip switch. We can also supply power to a microphone or we can supply a light amount of power to a normally open, normally closed contact as well as controlling a pan tilt zoom camera. There are a couple of different ways to interface with the DVR, two of which we've already discussed. One is through the 3G service, another is through a local area network, and another is through the front panel. This plug will plug right in the front of the chassis and it will allow you audio and video as well as a power source for a small handheld monitor. And then with the provided remote control you can interface with this unit very similarly to interfacing with a VCR. The final option that you have for pulling video is to simply remove the two SD cards from the front of the device and taking them to any personal computer. At that time the unit comes with software which will allow you to play that video back. The final plug that comes with our unit is the power plug. When you install the power plug be careful to pay attention to the fact that you need to go directly to the battery. If you send this to the chassis ground and this to the battery Everything between these two units can potentially cause interference with your video surveillance installation, such as the vehicle's ignition system or the vehicle's alternator. Finally, we have an accessory wire, which you will plug into the vehicle's ignition system. This is what will turn the recording device on and off, and is yet another reason why we do not want to deploy a regular DVR in a mobile vehicle surveillance installation. Turning the power on and off to a typical DVR will most certainly reduce its life as well as cause interference with the hard drive recording algorithms. This unit is designed to power itself down in several steps once the ignition has been turned off. The final component to our video surveillance installation is the camera. There are four different versions of this camera and what that has to do with is the orientation of the camera installation. You may place this camera on the side of a vehicle, on the dashboard of the vehicle, or on the roof of a vehicle. Because of that, we have to orientate the camera's charge coupled device properly so that your picture is upright. If we give you a camera like this to mount on the dash and you should mount it on the roof, what happens is your picture will be upside down. So please make note that this camera is available in versions A, B, C, and D and it all has to do with how the camera will be mounted. The other thing that you're going to notice about this camera is that it comes with a base plate. This makes installation very easy. Mount the base plate, then snap the camera into the base plate, and install your two set screws, which will secure the base plate to the camera. Our cameras are high resolution, they are day-night with infrared illumination, and they are also a metal chassis. This is a very rugged camera, and I would not hesitate to install it in practically any environment. So with that said, this is Adirondack Technologies Mobile Vehicle Solution. 
It is the proper way to install video surveillance in your next mobile project. My name is Jim Starr and I thank you for your time.